Hey, Jason here from Theme Punch. So this is part five of our Essential Grid Basic series, and in this video we'll discuss custom metadata. There's a few things that you can do with custom metadata with Essential Grid that's particularly useful. And the first thing you can do is you can modify the content that shows up inside the grid item. So for example, right now, this postcards here, this is just taking from the title of the post inside this grid item. But we could set up some custom metadata and then enter any text that we wanted for that data. So let's go ahead and set that up and you can get an idea of how this works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the metadata handling section of the Essential Grid plugin. And inside this section you can click Add New Meta and then you can give the new metadata a name. So here we'll call it My Custom Meta. And then the handle should just be all lowercase letters without any spaces or special characters, but underscores and dashes are OK. So the default value would be whatever we would want to display by default if a value were not entered. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this as blank for now, but you can enter a default value if you wanted. And then for the type, we can choose text, multi-select, uh, select box, or an image. So for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and select text. And then lastly, we could choose the sort type. So for example, if we had the type as text, we could choose alphabetic. But custom meta is also useful for sorting items to a specific order and in that case you could choose numeric and then we could enter numbers as the value for the custom meta. And I'll go ahead and set up an example so we can see that as well. But for now I'm just going to leave the sort type as alphabetic and choose add meta. So once this has been created we can head over to the posts that are being pulled into our grid. So right now for the grid that we have set up here, I've got six posts being pulled in. So two from uh, category A, category B, and category C. So if we head over to those posts and go ahead and edit one of them, if you scroll down to the Essential Grid Custom Settings section, You'll see in the first tab in where it says custom meta, we have a new field called my custom meta. And that's the custom meta field that we set up inside the metadata handling section just now. So just to review that, that's right here, handle eg my custom meta, and with a my custom meta name. So back in our post, we can enter a value here. And so I'm going to go ahead and enter meta value 1. And then update the post. And then I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process and update the metadata for all the rest of our posts being pulled into the grid. Okay, so I went ahead and did that for the six posts. And now we can apply that custom metadata to our grid. So to do that, we'd head over to the edit skin button and now we can change this option here which is pulling in the post title to pull in the metadata value that we've assigned for our posts so I'm going to leave the source as post and then for element I'm going to choose meta and then click this little down arrow here and then select eg my custom meta and now the value of this field will be populated from the metadata that we entered for each post. So I'm going to go ahead and save the skin. So our grid before, we can see that it's pulling in the title of the post. But now with that change, if I refresh the page, now we can see that it's pulling in the metadata value that I assigned for each post for our custom 
metadata. So you can see how this would be particularly useful for assigning content to a grid item that wouldn't normally come from the post item itself, such as the title, excerpt, etc. So you may be asking, well, I'm using a custom grid and not a post-based grid. So when you're setting up your grids, if you're using custom grids, basically the difference is for the essential grid custom settings that in the post itself, all of the settings that would normally be found here can be found inside the grid item in the grids admin. And this is the case whether you're using a post-based grid or a custom grid. So if we head over to the grid settings and then scroll down to our preview, if we click the green icon here where it says edit post meta, we can see the my custom meta value that we assigned for this particular item. So if you're using a custom grid, this is how that value would be assigned. Or if you're using a post-based grid, it could be assigned here, or it could be assigned inside the post itself in the essential grid custom settings section that we just reviewed. And then also in the alternative sources tab, basically it's the same thing where you can enter the data here if you're using a custom grid, or if you're using a post-based grid, you can enter it here or within the post itself. So another thing that's useful is you can sort the grid based on custom meta. So if we head over to the nav filter sort tab and then scroll down toward the bottom, in the sorting section we could choose my custom meta for available sortings and then we could also choose my custom meta for the start sorting by option. And then in the sorting order we could choose ascending or descending. So right now this would be uh, text-based and the sorting that we set up was alphabetic. But this is really useful if you're using a post-based grid and you want to sort your grid items to a specific order that really isn't based on date, title, or any of the other options here. So let's go ahead and set up that example. So first thing I'm going to do is head over to the metadata handling tab again and I'm going to click Add New Meta. And I'm going to name it my custom sort. And I'm going to leave it type as text with a sort type of numeric. And as a default I'm just going to enter 999 just in case I forget to enter a value for one of my posts. So then I'm going to choose Add Meta. And then we can go ahead and enter a value for each of these posts. So if we edit the post and we scroll to Essential Grid Custom Settings, we can see that my custom sort is set to 999 because that was the default value. But for this post, I'm going to set this as number one. And then I'm just going to assign random numbers for the rest of the posts. And we can go ahead and set it up to sort by those numbers. And then if we head back to our grid, refresh the page and enter the nav filter sort tab. If we scroll down for the available sortings, we can choose uh, my custom sort for the start sorting by my custom sort. And then since we set up the custom meta to sort by numeric, we can choose do we want it uh, 1 through 10 or do we want it to go backwards. So ascending or descending. So I'm going to go ahead and save the grid now. And now if we refresh the front end of our grid we should see that custom sorting taking into effect. And there we go. So another thing that's useful is if you have custom metadata from another plugin or perhaps your theme that has been entered into your posts, you can also pull that content into the grid. And the way to do that would be inside the metadata handling. Instead of adding a new custom meta, 
we would set up a meta reference. So just to review real quick, I have the Advanced Custom Fields plugin set up. And inside this plugin, I have a field group. And then I have a field name named My Custom Field. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that slug. And then just to review also inside the posts, I've set up a value for this advanced custom field right down here. So custom field one value. So let's go ahead and connect this advanced custom field, which is from another plugin to Essential Grid. So I'm going to head back to Metadata Handling and then click the Meta References Alias tab and then click Add New Meta Reference. So for this name, I'm going to call it um, External Meta. And the internal slug would be what Essential Grid would recognize it as. So external meta. And then the original would be the slug from the advanced custom field. So I copy that to my clipboard. And here it is, my custom field. And of course we could also assign a sort type to this as well. So I'm going to choose add meta here. And then I'm going to head back to the item skin editor for our grid. Edit Skin, and then for Meta here, I'm going to choose EGL External Meta, which is the meta reference that will pull in the advanced custom field from our other plugin. So I'm going to save the skin. So right now, Meta Value 1 is from our original custom meta that we set up. And custom field one value is from our advanced custom field. And let's just go ahead and review that. And here it is, custom field one value, my custom field. And this is from the advanced custom fields plugin that we have installed. So that's just a really cool way of pulling in content that maybe it's included from an option from your theme, or maybe you have a special uh, custom fields plugin, such as advanced custom fields. And that's really one of the beauties of Essential Grid is if it's data assigned to the post itself, really no matter how it's, it's assigned, it can be pulled into the grid. And the last thing that custom metadata is particularly useful for is assigning specific URLs that maybe don't link to the post itself. So for example, inside our item skin editor, maybe we want this title here to link to uh, custom meta as opposed to the post itself. And then we wanted to assign a specific URL per grid item through custom meta. So to do that, we could basically set it up in the same way that we set up our other custom meta. Just head over to Metadata Handling, click Add New Meta, leave it at text, and now that we have that new metadata created, we could enter a URL inside the Essential Grid Custom Settings section. So right here, my custom URL, and we could set this URL to be anything we wanted. And then update the post. And then inside our item skin editor, I'm going to go ahead and select this chain icon here. And then for link SEO, I'm going to choose link to meta and meta key. I'm going to select e.g. my custom URL and then save the skin. And maybe we want uh, this link to open in a 
new window, so I'll select underscore blank for the link target. And now when we reload our grid on the front end, this should take us to Google. And there it is. So those are some of the ways that you can use Essential Grid's custom metadata feature. Thanks for watching.